today is the Comma, which has got a Saab 2.3 turbo in it and a Vauxhall Omega four-speed automatic with a stock transmission controller and stock ECU, Saab and Vauxhall. And won't talk to each other, so that box just goes in the fourth gear and you know it won't it won't select the gears. It's like a limp home mode. So the plan is to take that box back out and go to a purely hydromechanical box setup. So the one I'm using is a Jatco 4N71. Uh, it's basically it's an MX-5 automatic box, four-speed overdrive box. Um, of course, they don't fit on the back of the Saab engine, but today I'm going to plasma cut an adapter plate. But it means remaking things like the gearbox mount and the prop shaft and uh, the linkage. Stuff I've already done, but oh well. Okay, so I've got a spare bell housing. So the plan is this 8mm steel is going to be the flange adapter to go from that box to a spare Saab engine I've got. They're like 12.95mm holes or whatever. They take M12 bolts. So the, what I'm going to do to find the center of or to, to trace around this plate, just quickly turn that on the lift quickly. It took me about a bloody hour. Knock that in there. That's a 12 mil hole in the center. Knock it in there and find the centers of the holes. And then I can drill and tap this plate for this. Okay, so with one bolt uh, th threaded and uh, I'm just going to hold it in place with this clamp and then I'm going to run the drill through the rest of the holes. Um, I'm just marking it out with that and then I'm taking it to the pillar drill, drilling it out to a 10 mil because my handy ruler tells me if you're doing an M12, you want to drill it out to 10.2, 10 mil is good enough. The uh, the cleverer people would just buy transfer punches and uh, find transfer punch the right hole and do it that way. But you know that would take like five minutes, and I'm trying to stay at the house like all day. So so I've got centers for to pick up with the uh, the ten mil drill drill bit in the uh, pillar drill. Beautiful. Right, that's these all drilled at a 10 mil. Uh, tap them all and then uh, try them on the box. All right, happy days. They all line up. Super duper. Uh, not done anything with these at the minute. They're starter motor bolts. So they're not too important right now. But the next stunt is borrowed a manual box uh, off my buddy Josh. Thank you very much. And what I'm going to do is make something on the lathe, which basically picks up the input shaft and brings it out slightly, puts a point on it bolt that plate to it, turn the output to mark the centre. Then what I'll do is open up the centre to the to fit the back end of the Saab engine. And then what I've got is once this, I can line it up with this and then I can transfer these holes through to it. And then the engine and the box are perfectly aligned. Okay, so planned here is I know this input shaft is central to the bell housing. So what I have done is there was a hole in the center of it, a six mil drill bit fits in it. Chop the six mil drill bit down to the right size. That is precision engineering. Uh, protrudes ever so slightly. Bolt this to this. Put the box in, say, first gear. Put a prop at the back of it. I'll rotate it by hand, increasing the tightness on these bolts and I will get a perfect center. Some people would say that's uh, unconventional, um, not a standard way of doing stuff or in reality totally made up on the spot. 
by set by spot. I mean, normally in my dreams or when when the wife's trying to talk to me about something important and I'm thinking about shit like this. Right, happy. I've got a pretty uniform gap all the way around. You can see the end of the drill bit touching up against it. Put the prop in the back in first gear. Give it a spin and. Uh, I'm hoping it'll make a good mark on it and I might increase like the tightness on them bolts. Bloody happy with that. What I need to do now is drill that out to suit the back of the crank on the Saab engine. Um, either I put something in there to align it or I just keep going until it's the size of this. Slip it over and then I need to transfer bolt, um, holes from this uh, to that plate and then they're perfectly aligned and then after that draw a bit because I'll know the center I'll put something like the flex plate in the center and that will be the template for the uh, plasma cutter to cut out the center because the plasma cutter heads quite chunky so it'll be larger than that um, and the starter motor hole and I'm not even sure yet if the uh, they're very very similar start a motor location but um, obviously modifications are going to be needed somewhere so yeah happy with that that plan worked a treat so Eddie's using the plasma cutter to uh, chop these bits off there's like a bit of an overhang where it fits under the back of the Saab engine so we don't need to we can't follow the bell housing exactly, but we just worked it all out and they're the bits we're going to lose. I don't own a plasma cutter, so I don't think now is the right time to learn how to use one and cock it all up, so... Eddie's going to do his magic. I'm going to cock it up. <laughs> okay, so uh, plasma cut it out. Um, just gone over it with the uh, flap disc just to take the worst of it off. I'll tidy up a bit more. Now fit it to the back of the engine and uh, transfer the engine holes through. Did some uh, precision engineering and um, now it won't come out. Dope. Just give it a bit of a clean up with some sandpaper. Oh, that's a good noise. So the adapter fits in that. In the back of the crank. And then just get it lined up and then transfer the holes through. Very crudely quickly turn these down the lathe so they've got a point on them. Uh, put the central bit back on to align it, put the plate on, bolt it up, hammer the plate up against them and that will give me the centers for that. Uh, they just holes not threaded on this plate they just need to be countersunk I think and there we go obviously I added the paint marks after okay so them two holes I marked out drilled uh, they're to 12 mil the river's so slightly out, I've got to bring them down slightly, but it's not the end of the world. We're going to plasma cut around this to have the uh, cut out for the flex plate and that for the starter motor. Just cutting out the centre now. Used uh, a... <laughs> Alright, here we go. Centless cut out. Let's give it a trial fit on the engine. Right, that's it. Bolted it up. Um, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna chuck this on the engine crane and offer it up to the auto box sat in the back of the Land Rover.
and uh, see how it goes. Okay, the box and the engine are together. Um, that's going to be it for now because I need to pull the flex plate and start a motor out of the comma to modify to fit this uh, torque converter. Um, I think I'm going to have to extend it so there's like tangs on the back of the torque converter where it bolts to the flex plate. Not only am I going to have to drill the flex plate for the torque converter to line up, but I'm probably going to have to extend the tangs because now I've made it 8mm thicker further away from the engine. But it all depends on how the flex plate was spaced out on the standard engine versus this. But I'll work it all out. Um, but that's it for now. So I hope you got something from that. And uh, there it is.